Alrighty then, welcome back guys. So still in our app.php here, what we need now is because we've created a new instance of whatever the class is that we are accessing at the time, now we just need to find a method in there. That's because let's say we're in the home controller here. And this is the controller that has been activated. So we must know which of the functions, because there will be functions in here, we must know which function to run, okay? Now the default function that every controller should have is the index function. That's because we have it as the default there, okay? You can change that to anything you want, but index seems uh, okay. So what we will do now is to check for, now, here once we find we figure this out and we find out that uh, uh, this has worked we must uh, remove it from the from the array so let's just say unset like so like that so from the url we're going to remove that to zero the first item is removed now the reason we're removing this item is because finally we want to get the final array or the final items that remain and use them as params here. So we don't want to have params of the controller and the method in there. We must remove them so that we have just the remaining as the params. So unset that there, that's good. Just to make sure we are not using it here anymore. So now we have to check if a method exists. So we're going to say if method exists. <coughs> now, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Now here it's asking for the object, uh, which is the class name, right? So we've created an object here by saying new, new controller. So we can just put that right here. So if method exists inside this class, what is the method name we're looking for? So we're going to look for the second param here, okay? Let's put it there. That is number one. Now, it's possible that this will not exist, okay? Somebody can just type home and then nothing after that. So we just need to check if it is set. So we'll say if is set, like so, that, okay? So you can put an and here, say if is set and method exists, but even this will do just fine. So if that is set, we'll go in here and then at this point we can do that. So let me just move this to be consistent. I haven't been consistent throughout, so yeah. Okay, so if this is set, that's good. Then if the method exists as well, then we are good to go. So at this point, we're going to set this method to the item. So I'm just going to say this uh, method is equal to, and I'll set it to that, like so. Okay. Now, it's a good idea to be consistent with the uh, case here. So I'm just going to change everything to lowercase, just in case. So I'll just say string to lower, like this, okay? That way we are sure it's lowercase. And then we can keep our class uh, file names as lowercase as well. So I'll copy this and put it here as well string to lower like that okay so here now if the method exists then this method will be equal to this item instead of index but if none of this works it means this method will remain as index okay that way if we don't find what we want we still have index and as we did here we're going to unset the second item as well Okay, so unset uh, URL one, 
Now we don't want to unset this if this method does not exist because we will be unsetting a param instead. So that's why we are doing this here. Okay, so goody. Now, now that we have unset that, at this point we can run uh, a check to see if we can open this method inside the controller that we have. All right, so here I'm just going to say, uh, whatever, 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 whatever. Okay, so I'll say uh, core user func array. So I'll use this, this function here, core user func array. So this one requires the function and the param and the params that you want to send. So the params we want to send are right here, params. It's an empty array at this point, so I'm just going to say params like that, but I'll use this. So these params to determine that we're talking about this one right here. Okay, and then here we can put a function that we want to run, but in our case, we don't want to run a function. We want to run, or we want to run a function that is inside uh, a class or an object. So it allows for that if you use an array instead. So the array here will contain the object itself like this and then comma uh, the method that we want to run like so. Okay, so two items in there, the controller and the method and these params. So let's see if this, this is going to run or we'll get an error. So refresh, okay unquote type core user func array argument one function must be a valid callback. Okay, class students does not have a method index. So I'm going to go to students.php here. This is the controller. So um, what I will do here is create an index. So I'll say index. So it will be function index. Same thing in the home, I'm just going to say index, like so. Okay, save. Now if I refresh, everything works fine. So it says, this is the student's controller. If I go to the home, this is the home controller because it's reading this and then reading that. Uh, same thing here in the students, it's reading this and then reading that. Now, sometimes when editing, these files can become very confusing. Let's say students here, I can have a student's view and uh, because there's model, um, models, controllers and views. So if you want to have uppercase uh, class names here, the, the, the files, just so they can match the class name. You see students here has a capital S, that one is small letter. So let me just go to the containing folder and let me change these guys to uppercase. In Windows, it doesn't really matter, but in systems like Linux, which you're going to mostly be using on the live web server, it does matter, the capitalization there. So I'll change those to capitals that way let me close them and open them again if i open them from the capital there i can tell this is a controller okay students there that's a controller as well now to make sure that we have that format instead of string to lower we're going to just say uc first we'll say uc first like that this isn't it let's let me just click that okay so this will make sure that only the first letter is capitalized. So I'll do the same thing here instead of changing to lower case. Okay, so we have all that. That is all good. Now let's test to see if I remove the home there. What do I get? I still get the home controller. But if I add a controller that doesn't exist, I get the home controller. Okay, good. At least now we've gotten rid of all the errors, but now we don't have the params here. So let's see what URL contains at this point. So come down here and say uh, 
echo pre tag like so and then i'm just going to say print readable here and put the url all of it just to see what has remained so if i now refresh you see that there is that that's the item there but if i type home for example you see that it's empty now because home has been used as the controller. Now, if I do slash and put index there, you also see that it's just home slash index, but the index has been used. So this is empty again because now it knows this is not a param. It's part of the method. However, if I type at the end, I say slash one slash two and press enter. I have those two items there at the end. Even though I remove the index here, like so, I will have this one, one and two. Even though I remove the home as well like this, I'll still have one and two. It knows that these are params because they are not a controller and they are not a method. So they'll be treated as parameters. Okay, the only problem here is if I add home, you see here, this is all good because it starts at zero and one in the array. So it's easy to know the first item, the second item. But if I add home like so, this changes. You see it starts at one this time because we removed the home. And then if I put index again here, it starts even further at two. What I want is to always start at zero with the params. So that's easy to do. We're just going to tell it right here to say uh, URL, like so. We're just going to say URL is equal to array values URL, like so. So what we're telling it is to create another array uh, based on the values that are inside this array. So as a result, it will reset because it's a new array it's creating. So it will always reset to zero like this. So you see there it's zero, regardless what I do here, it starts at zero. Okay, so things are good here now. There we go. Okay, so now we can put this as part of the params. So we didn't need to set that to params, but uh, just for better organization, I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to say this params is equal to I can easily put this URL down here, but uh, that's okay. So I'll say if oh, it will be an empty array, so that's okay. So I'll say this params is equal to URL like that. And then we put that here and we are good to go. So when we put this here, it uses those in the function. So let's say we're in students right here. I'll say I want an ID there, like so, okay? So it's going to put that ID there. So if I come back here and write students, so public slash students, and then slash one, two as the ID. If I press enter, uh, you see here, if I echo this, this is the student's controller, and then I just want to concatenate the ID at the end. So if I now refresh, you see that there's 12, which is the ID there. So if I put another ID, it will just ignore that. But if I change the 12 to 14, you see it changes there. The only problem comes in when I don't have a parameter there, I'll get an error saying too few arguments given because it was expecting that. So we may make this, we just need to make this optional by putting empty like that and that should solve the problem. Okay, so just remember that the params here should have a default value. You can say is equal to zero or empty or no. For as long as it has a default value, that's good enough. All right, so, so far so good. Our method is working and uh, we are now navigating properly. So all this from the beginning up to this point was all about the navigation of the URL parsing the URL just to make sure we have clean URLs and they work as expected. Okay, then after now, this point is when the fun begins, then we can begin to actually make something 
look nice. So I'll see you in the next video.